Hello everyone, Morp here, and welcome to the showdown for Stealth Armors in Fallout 76. I'm going to be going over the Covert Scout, the Thorn Armor, and going to be comparing against the base model of the Scout Armor, as well as uh, showing off the Solar Armor. So let's buckle up and get into the action here. If you guys do like this content, please make sure to click like and subscribe. Subscribing and clicking like is free, and it definitely does help the channel. I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and let's rock and roll. All right, well, here we are in West Deck. We are going to do our comparison for all of these different sets in here. So as a baseline, we're going to be starting with the Scout Armor. And with all of these sets that I'm using, everything's exactly the same, except for the Solar Armor, which is the full health version. But every piece is a yielding AP weapon weight uh, with one piece of sneak on here. And each piece is going to have the Ultralight and the Shadowed. And uh, they're all going to be uh, the same except for the solar. So for here, let's go and see our base stats here. The uh, so these have 75, or sorry, for the chest here, we have uh, these have 75 and 47 with AP uh, on there because of the second star as well as the ultralight build. Um, 75 and for a total of our stats here is uh, 223 and 147. So let's go here and see how quickly we are detected here. Now the only thing I have going for me is the one piece of sneak. You can see up at the top, just moving around here, my uh, hidden bar is going pretty low. Well. I'm probably going to be spotted really, really quick here. See if he sees me when he turns around. Yep, yep. So pretty, pretty quick here. Now I'm going to try it. Here, I'm going to take off the one piece of sneak gear. Let's see how much of a difference that really makes. I'm going to take that off. Now, this is basic. This is zero. I have zero thing other than actually crouching. Yeah, very, very quickly. Very quickly, I'm spotted. So, let's go and switch to the next armor and see if we can see the difference. Right, next up we actually have the solar armor which is the full health version this does not have the sneak bonus that the covert or the thorn scout has or these covert scout but i thought i'd go ahead and include it here and you can see with the bonus we do have the 223 and the 147 and this is an overeater set that i did put the endurance on the second star so it's not going to be quite as the same but i do have the one piece of sneak on there just wanted to show for comparison Otherwise, everything else is uh, overeater and weapon weight and endurance. I just want to go show that this should be basically exactly the same as the Covert Scout. You see how the hidden's going down right about the same time. And I should. You should see me as soon as he turns around. Start shooting me. Right, one cool thing here. Let me, let me take a little bit of damage here. I'll show you the cool thing with the solar. Oh. Now you can see down there, I have no perks on, but I am I am healing back up. Again, I have uh, taken off all my mutations. I don't have any mutations on at all. And I have no perks on that are giving me anything. So that's all purely just the solar armor giving me back some health. Which is really nice if you want to play full health. You know, it should keep you pretty, pretty full. So the thorn armor is going to give you the sneak advantages and the melee damage and the solar is going to do pretty it's a pretty good job of actually healing here even though the defenses resistances are not too too great with this a little bit of healing is it's not too bad rock and roll so let's move on to the next one all right next up we have thorn armor our first piece of actual sneak set here so with this set, it is just like the other ones. It is 223 and 147. Again, these are all scout piece, uh, scout armors. So um, for this set, we do have the same setup. We do have one piece of sneak gear. But with the set bonus, with the full set, we do have an additional now 15% reduced uh, detection chance and we make 5% less noise. So we're probably, you can see the bar once we go up here should go a little bit less down. You can still, it's uh, probably pretty hard to tell that 5% there. But let's see how much difference we get here. From just this little thing. Let's wait for him to turn around. It's pretty imperceptible. Well, see, look, there we go. We got out of combat there pretty quickly.
Now it's pretty hard to tell in there. And again, our agility is really low. Make sure we do have a yielding, so we want to make sure our stats stay. Don't go all the way up. We have our special still. I have one. Oh, that's a little bit. You can tell that little bit of extra uh, sneaking in there. And this is with zero perks and zero anything added on there. So it's uh, hard to tell. It's a little bit easier to tell once you have the perks on. And uh, I'm rock and roll. So let's go on to the big dog, the Covert Scout. All right, so now we got Covert Scout. This is the most sneak stuff that you're going to be getting on um, actual armor. So it's actually pretty cool. And also, this is the first one that does have a boost there. There's 10% per piece of radiation damage and uh, a little bit of some energy damage per piece as well. And we're going to rock and roll here. It's the same setup as everything else. I do have the one piece of sneak on there and shadowed on everything. And the pieces have the plus 5 sneak to shadow. So, And again, with no, per but no perks, no buffs, nothing else going on here. Let's see how this goes with just the armor effect in it. Still making noise here. That's going to benefit from the covert uh, the uh, covert operative when we pop that on. We're still detected. He's right there. Okay, so he he saw us. He didn't shoot us. Just barely. So it's, it's all going to add up um, to be helping us quite a bit here once we actually start per putting perks on. Yeah, if we can get out of combat a quicker here. So yeah, we're getting that out of line of sight. So Covert Scout is the big dog as far as it, you know, the benefits that you're getting purely just from the gear. And see how long it takes him. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you really have to. Uh, like said, that little bit of second, a little bit of second of him to detect is uh, is pretty pretty big. All right, so let's go ahead and actually try this with some perks and stuff. All right, now it's time to see a massive increase in our sneaking here. I went ahead and added just the enough points here to add sneak and the escape artist. The escape artist is going to make it so that our footsteps and uh, walking around and making noise is uh, not going to affect our the being detected, which is super super nice. And also, it really makes it a lot easier to get out of of uh, out of combat, which is really cool. And with the full thing of sneak, which I don't even use this in my normal one if I'm using the sneak thing, because this is going to be overkill. This is 75%, plus we got 25% with the the one piece of armor that we're using, and also we have the stealth and shadows, we got the shadowed mod on everything, so this is going to be um, really, really awesome. So let's see how long it takes us to get detected with everything on here. Now if you notice, I'm not, the hidden bar is not, any any noise that I make is not doing anything. You see, he's just staring right at us now. I should be able, to, oh, a little bit there. Okay. But you notice how we can get immediately out of combat. I get out of line of sight here. Take just a little bit here. Get right over here. Now, once we actually get our agility up with, with points and stuff, now you can see you're, we're, we really have to get right up on top of these these dudes before they're going to start detecting us. Alright, well there we go. Alright, well, let's go to the next stage and actually get the unyielding to work for us and really have some fun here sneaking around. All right, well now we are fully buffed up again, and we are ready to rock and roll here. So I have all of my stuff back on. I redid my mutations. So I, my agility is up to 38 now. So I'm going to be super harder to detect. And I got my full stuff on here. I typically only use the two star, but for now we're going to keep it with the three star. I do have on my escape artist, and um, I have 15 points in there actually i only have 10 points because the other five are coming from the agility i do use my follow-through when i'm being all sneaky um i do use fixers for the extra awesomeness and let's go and see how harder i am to detect it'd be comically 
a lot less here. Agility is really going to keep up your numbers here. So now you'll notice here, I can like walk through the dudes. I can like jump through their bodies. You're practically, you can be detected here. You got to be kind of right up in there. But almost instantly, it's gone. You can kind of toy around with them. I can even like hit them. He's like, what, what, what? So with the with the full unyielding set, giving the all the extra agility and stuff, you are super super undetectable. I may be in caution here, but once I get rid of it, it should still go right back into in there. Sometimes it takes a little bit here, but then you get to go and have some fun here with your other perks and just go around and murder bulls and rock and roll. And, uh, oh, actually, I'm missing my Under Armour. Got one little nice piece here. I do go with the Raider Under Armour. Give me the three more agility and the one luck, which is really nice. That should put me over the 33 mark. I keep it at 34 just in case I do get, um, if I get anything like Blight or anything. I don't want to go down to 32. So rock and roll. Every second shot can be an awesome sauce. And rock and roll. Um, so next up, I don't really play melee all that often myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the little bit of benefit, the benefit that you get from actually using thorn armor, which is um, you're gonna be a little bit uh, easier to detect, but it's gonna be still pretty cool here. So we'll do that, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now let's show some thorn with some melee here. Now, as we were saying before, here with the thorn. With the set bonus, the melee attackers bleed for 125, and, uh, you know, um, so yeah, like, if they hit you, they're gonna take some damage, and hitting them adds some bleed damage, which is pretty sweet here. And, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments how terrible this build is, I just kept with my, my, uh, pew pew set and just switched out some cards for some sluggers, um, just for, for testing purposes here. And I'm gonna go ahead and be using... Uh, just a bloodied swing speed strength baseball bat and uh, yeah let's go and let's see how this works with the how quickly we're detected and stuff so we will be detected a little bit easier but still because of all of our perks it's still pretty good here now now you see hitting them does apply some burn damage here It is pretty nice here. So definitely still pretty undetectable. And I definitely, you guys can let me know in the, the comments, better builds for all this. And, uh, yeah, let's try it. Actually, we have a Goss as well. Or not a Goss, a uh, Gauntlet. Bloody Sweet Speed Strength. Here, let's just try all these. These are just kind of fun. Fun little weapons here. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Even without a proper build. Pretty fun. And again, when I hit them with melee, it should apply a burning effect here. If I don't want shot, then that is. See the little burn going down a little bit. It should kill him. Nope. So anyway, I think to kind of wrap everything up, if you're going to be doing melee and you want to be as sneaky as possible, you want that extra bit of damage you can get, uh, Thorn is definitely going to be a really good option. If you just really want to be super, super sneaky, you can still just do it in Covert Scout and uh, rock and roll. So to finish this off, I am going to show the comparison with the set that I actually use, which is just the Secret Service set. And uh, yeah, let's do that right now. All right, so here is my Secret Service set, which I think looks awful. Best thing about having apparel is you can just put stuff right underneath it and you can't even see how, how awful it looks. 
But anyway, we're going to go here and I'm just going to rock and roll and kind of just show a bit of how I normally go with. So I am using the uh, Secret Service set, which is kind of just better for running around in my opinion. Um, you know, it's the, the same same jam here. I do have the one piece of sneak on and everything else is weapon weight. And for those that are curious why I do choose that, um, the weapon weight reduction um, and uh, reductions that you get in the game are capped out at 90%. So the choice is either, if I had five pieces, I would be at 90%, but with this I'm at 80%, so the trade-off is 10% um, uh, less weapon weight reduction for 25% sneak, and I like sneaking around a little bit, you know, so it's kind of fun, and I'm really, really enjoying uh, having that added into my, my, uh, my, my build, my whole kind of jam and stuff. And one good thing with the Secret Service is the reductions are a lot higher. Um, so I'm over 300 on everything, well almost 300 on everything. And uh, so I personally, since sneaking isn't, I'm not like a pure stealth kind of dude, um, it's not going to be super super important unless I just wanted to do a playthrough like today and, and go and actually sneak around. But otherwise I personally choose to just stick with the, the Secret Service. With the um, addition of the the covert operative and the two points in sneak that I actually do use in my I use the, I get getting 50% from here I'm getting 25% from the one piece of sneak here so that's 75% and then the rest of it's just from the the high amount of agility that being low health and having the unyielding armor is giving me so for me secret service is still the way to go. But otherwise, let me definitely know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll rock and roll. All right, now to wrap everything up, I wanted to cover how to actually get these armors. Now, you can go inside the White Springs bunker, which is also going to be where you are going to purchase all of the mods for all of these because they are scout armor. And you purchase them from inside the armory. And um, you can also get these plans, uh, they're pretty far into the storyline where you go and access the, the gold vault and you can buy them from regs. You can also buy the plans from Minerva for everything except for the Covert Scout. The Covert Scout is actually obtained through doing daily ops, so make sure that you're doing daily ops and uh, rock and roll. So here you can see where I am purchasing from regs. And also, I wanted to include a link here to Nuka Knights and this awesome page that can show you when Minerva is going to be selling the the pieces, the solar and the, the thorn. And uh, yeah, so rock and roll, everybody. So I hope this all has been very informative for you guys. And do please make sure to click like and subscribe. It super helps out the channel and it's free to do. And uh, yeah, here are some other guides for you guys. And we will see you out in the wasteland.